operating point analysis. In this exercise, we'll look at the operating point in SPICE, also known as the steady state solution. This analysis type calculates the corresponding DC values of the circuit resulting from applied voltages and currents. The resulting values displayed in the waveform viewer are taken when the circuit has reached steady state and is no longer changing. Steady state bias point values are calculated for device current, node voltage, device power, and impedance. Operating point calculations are automatically performed for transient AC small signal noise and pole zero analysis to determine the linearized small signal models for nonlinear devices in the same fashion. In this example, we're going to set up voltage sources as a means to quickly check uh, global parameter expression values. To begin with, download the starting design files.zip file that is located in the eLearned uh, page. Then you can open up the project, and we'll do that with file open. Navigate to the desktop where you have those files situated and open up that PRJ PCB file. Once you do that, you should see one schematic called Global Params. And if you open that up, you'll have this schematic visible. Add in some voltage sources. We do that from the libraries panel. Be sure to select simulation sources and then locate VSRC2. And with the help of the place button, just drop three of those down on the schematic. Now double click on the symbol and for the designator we're going to give the first one a value of VR1 underbar value and the value for the voltage is going to be curly brackets R1 underbar value and then close curly brackets like so and then do the same thing for the next two now we're going to simulate our design. Go to the menu Design, Simulate, Mix Sim, and we'll have the analysis set up that appears. Make sure that you only have the operating point analysis enabled, and then go back to General Setup. And what we want to do is uh, Active Signals. You'll see we got input and output currently. That's great. We want to add in net VR1 value, 2 and VR3. Just select all three of them, click the right arrow and those will be added to the active signal list. Under the sim view setup, make sure you have show active signals and then go down to global parameters and you'll see here that the values have now all been changed to either a value such as 1k or the variable such as r2 under bar value. Now click OK to accept those values and you'll see the simulation is run and automatically the global params.sdf file has been opened up and on the bottom you'll notice a tab operating point that's because we enabled that in the simulation dialog box when you add additional um, simulations to check there'll be corresponding tabs along the bottom that we'll see in subsequent lessons but for now we can see that we've got an uh, input of zero volts output of zero volts and then the net vr one, two, and three values as shown here. Now just to show you the correlation, if we go back to the schematic and then run the simulation again, we can add an additional signal. For example, we might add in C2 to our list. And then when we click OK to run the simulation, you notice that C2 now appears in our global parameters list. So anything that we identify in the dialog as a signal to um, to observe will appear in the operating point tab. Now we're going to go back to our schematic and then change the value of our signal voltage. So V1 um, is the designator of course. Um, if we go to the, um, the model section and then click on the edit button we will access the uh, dialog for the uh, sim model. And if we go to that second tab, Parameters, we can change any of these things just to see that it does propagate through to simulation. We're going to change our DC magnitude to 5 volts. Click OK to accept that. Click OK to dismiss the properties. And now if we run the simulation again, Design, Simulate, Mix Sim. And let's remove C2 here by clicking on the left facing arrow and then accept everything else click OK you'll see that the input now shown is 5 volts so that change to our source in the schematic which we made right here 
has now propagated out to the simulation.